All right, here's one I actually have talked about before, Leet Street. I talked about this one, like, well over a year ago now when I... The original attempt to talk about Half-Life maps and all that kind of tomfoolery. Uh, yeah, I remember this one being okay. Not really anything too spectacular, but I do know this is actually a pretty famous map in the game. Um, I probably have played this one before, if I vaguely remember. This may have been the first map I've ever played for this game. I can't confirm that, though, because it might have been another str like city-like map for this game. But, you know... So anyway, here's the uh, readme that came with this. Leet Street, or for those who not in the internet know, 1337 Street, but you only say that if you want to get punched in the mouth. Uh, it was made by someone named Campy. There's their website, which may or may not be up. I never check those because you never know what evil things are on there. Creation time, two days. I hate to say it kind of does look like it was made in two days. It's not visually impressive, but you know that's, that's not necessarily knocking the gameplay. Beta testing's 4.1. Okay. Players recommended 2 to 4. I go with 8, as always. Uh, size small. It is pretty small. Hints. You can enter four houses by touching the doors of them. Yeah, that's true. Some doors can't be open. A broken decal shows which can't be open. Please, 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 please. I, I can't, I, I can't stand this bullshit. I'm sorry. Please do this. Apostrophe. If that's what that's called. I actually don't remember because I'm an idiot myself. Use the gods to get on the roofs. That is true. Important. You may not do this without my permission. Decompile and change this map. Sell it in any way. Sure. Visit that website for some more map for more maps. Uh, he made apparently Half Life and Counter Strike maps at the time of this. If you have any comments on my maps, please contact me on these places that may or may not exist anymore. Write in my guest book. How many kids these days know what that is? You now have fun. Colon right bracket. I also found uh, a little, I think, a little description by them uh, that they them so can't be themselves uploaded this map onto uh, what is this? The whole Half Life. I've never actually really heard of this website before, so that's pretty cool. So I made this map in one day, if I remember correctly. No, you made it in two. Don't go misremembering now. But it's become one of my most famous and popular maps. That face that deserves to explode. The name Elite Street says two things about the map. It's a street. It's for elite players. Whoa! Basically, it's a street with seven houses, four of which can be entered in two cars. The fun of at this map, that's some weird grammar there, is that you can jump around with the gauze and fight on the rooftops. The Tau Cannon is placed in the middle. That's actually what it's supposed to be called, by the way. Everyone says gauze. It's the Tau Cannon, actually. But who cares? Is placed in the middle of the street with four gauze clips. Another great fun point is the accessibility of the houses. Once you touch a door, a sequence starts and you receive the gross plow plus ammo, a health kit, a battery, and get teleported into the house. It's an apartment. I'm sorry. I know. I don't. I'm pretty sure uh, German is probably their first language, but you know, still, I, I got to be pedantic about the shit because I'm I'm a loser that needs to get punched in the gut. In these houses, you can break the windows and snipe around. In this map, there's a lot of action all the time because actually the map is one big room. That's a lot of maps actually. That a lot of times are just a big, like, kind of combination of brushes. The skybox is actually just a brush in of itself, and that's usually what closes it off. I'm really being a fucking cunt right now. Shut up. Some say it, it was a kill box. Grrr! The map doesn't look as bad as a kill box, although it's a simple look with a little detail, with little details. But the R speeds are very good for the structure of the map. Max 450. I actually forget what R speed is for. I don't feel like dickling with it. When you leave a house through its door, you will get the long jump. I actually didn't know that. Good to know. This map is big fun for a game without... L lamers? What? Okay. It's for people who like flying around with the gauze and sniping through windows and have a lot of action all the time. What a fun map? Download now. Why? Why, why is... I know in German, okay, I, I'm just only barely starting to learn German. I know sometimes, like, if you're saying your mother, meine Mutter, the, the mine is, like, lowercase, but then the mutter is, the Mutta is, like, uppercase. I don't know how the capitalization works. Why am I being so pedantic? Main points of the map, gauze jumping a lot. Street theme consists of seven houses, four of which can be entered, plus a street with two cars. Two to four players recommended. Hectic gameplay. Tiny map size. Basically one big room. As is all maps. No glue on. No B gun. So I guess people actually hated the glue on gun, which is the E gun. And the B gun is the, you know, if the whole hive hand. Hints. You can enter the houses by touching the doors. Doors can't be entered have a broken decal on it. Windows that can't be broken, that can be broken, have a broken decal on it. They get the long jump, leave the house through the door. So why the hell didn't you put that in the, the, the thing?
That would have helped. Goofy. Entering our house gets you crossbow plus ammo. One times health kit plus battery. If you want to be good in this map, you should know how to gauze jump. So yeah, he they, they weren't kidding though. This is really a small map. You, you just I just looked at the whole thing basically. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because it is fun. Don't get me wrong. I just wouldn't put it top tier because it's it's a little bit too basic for my taste. He recommended two to four, but I'm going with eight, my old standby, as you see. And that's what he means. See, I can't you can't do shit with this door here. Or this one, but this one you could. We'll talk about the doors after. So here are the cars in all their gold source 2003 glory. This map was rec uh, originally dated to uh, 2003 February or February 2003. So right just before like the Steam version of this game was on, like you know coming online and stuff like that. You this what you would have still been able to play this map online in the WON one version. So that's cool. Here's the cause he was talking about. You want to grab the ammo and you can then jump around and all that. That there Leet Street, cool. How many kids these days even know what Leet is, like Leet speak is? I'd be very surprised if anyone under 10 knows what that shit is. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that. I'm going to do the roof first, so yeah. There's shotguns all over the place. You grab one there, there, and there. Especially when you keep the weapon, um, weapon stay on. You always got something to fight with, so that's cool. If you come up here, you can grab a revolver, which is fun. You can also get on the grates. Grab some of these so you can rain down some hot death on the people below. Um... And obviously you're gonna get up here with the gauze jump, so then you gotta do that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about anything anymore. Um, but if you did that properly... Oh, uh, fuck. I gotta pile that more. You gotta really power up the whole thing all the way. I would've made the buildings a little bit shorter in all honesty, but oh well. Grab the rocket launcher from this set of buildings here. I don't think there's any other explosives to get. You can sometimes spawn on the building too, by the way, so it's not- you can get up here without the gauze. Uh, grab another revolver, always fun. Um, surprisingly lack of crossbow though, but then again, I guess you get the crossbow by going in the buildings. It's nice to have the revolver, I suppose though. I'm always a fan of the revolver, so. Oh well, so let's talk about the buildings now. You can see one of the broken uh, windows. The bots don't really know how to effectively use that, but say so there's that little sequence and uh, I'm back up here. Um, some nice little goofy things in here. So as you said, you can't break these ones. These are solid, but he did break that one. And I guess if you come back out... Did I get the long jump? I don't know if I got the long jump. I don't know. I'll try some of the other ones, but hmm. Hmm, I think someone's having a false memory. So yeah, did break this one. This is the blue one. Let's try now. That one did... Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Because it's basically two separate hallways. It's not... You're not actually going anywhere. Well, you are going somewhere. You're getting teleported to the one hallway that leads you to the building. And you get teleported to another hallway that leads you out. Okay, I see. Someone must have left that building and grabbed the long jump beforehand. Gotcha. So you can go in this one, too. Uh, this one's got a couch. Not that there's much use, but it's also got grenades in this one. So that's fun time guaranteed for all. And yeah, here you go. Yep, yeah, another long jump. And then the final building is not that one. It is this one. Yes. Alright, no one's been in this one yet. This is the one with the TV. I, rem I distinctly remember this one. I, I can see this might be Campy's living quarters. I actually got nothing against Campy. If it sounds like I'm being an asshole to Campy, well, that's because I'm a jerk. But yeah, Leap Street, it's pretty okay. See, the problem I have is basically, it's like you took the, the center area of Crossfire, the, which I just talked about Crossfire Emperor, so it's fresh on my mind. And you have that similar kind of like, you know, not safe from any direction vibe. But when that's kind of the whole map, like even with the buildings, like, you know, they tried to add some variety in the rooftops and stuff. But even with that going for it, I, I just feel like, you know, it's just too basic. I forgot I wasn't invincible for a second there somehow. Also, somehow I missed that one shot there, so that's embarrassing. Yep. Yep. Yep, I, I give up. I just, I should give up on everything. Frankly, I should stop playing this game entirely. But yeah, my problem is, it's like, it's just so basic that, you know, I wouldn't really want to play this for like, more than 10 minutes at a time. Like, it's fun for a little skirmish, but you know, there's not really much substance, you know? Can I at least get a sick shot? I did at least hit Peach there. Oh, okay, some redemption there. I actually got a shot kill with the revolver at a long distance while my mouse gets locked again. So yeah, here you go. This thing, I spawned up here too, so that just adds to what I said earlier that you can actually um, come up with this way uh, without the uh, gauze. Obviously, want to be careful for people firing at you from the other buildings. Oh yeah, there's Starks in this map too. I actually just don't remember where they are. 
I don't know why I have such a vendetta against Peach tonight. I'm not specifically going out of my way to target her, but she just happens to be the one in my cross with light on fire at all times. Gotta try to kill someone, and it's deathmatch after all. I sometimes slap the wall and then wonder why my hand hurts. Yeah, let the Peach bullying continue. I'm sorry, sorry Peach. I really swear on my mother's non-existent grave because she's not dead that, you know, like, you know, that, like, I, I got nothing against you. Yeah, somehow I missed that entire foray of shots. I get to stationary target. Jesus, I actually hit him. I can't believe it. Oh, I need to kill himself so I can even get the satisfaction of killing him for myself. Tragic! So yeah, Leech Street. I'm not particularly a big fan of it, but it's not bad. You might want to check it out.